there are eight rounds of calculation. And each party that wins a seat sees their total vote divided by the number of seats won plus one. So, if the Conservatives have 27%, they win the first seat, and their vote is now divided by two. That means the next seat is won by Labour at 19.5%. Having won that seat, their votes are divided by two. Then the third seat is won by the Lib Dems. Having won that seat, their vote is now divided by two. And the fourth seat is won by the UKIP, who, once they've won that seat, their vote is divided by two. That means that the next seat, the fifth seat, is actually won by the Conservatives, who, despite having had their division by two, still have enough to win a second seat. But having won that second seat, their total vote is now divided by three. In the same manner, Labour have sufficient to win a second seat, and then their vote is divided by three. And in the same way, the Liberal Democrats win a second seat, and their vote is divided by three. However, UKIP's vote, having been divided by two, is not large enough to beat the Christian party at 9.1% of the vote. And therefore, the Christian party win the eighth seat. That's how it works. And it works with less than 200,000 votes. It works with about 168,000 votes for the Christian party, well within our grasp.